What's up? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, I want to review the Canon 75 to 300 millimeter lens. Let's get into it. So, first thing you notice about this lens is the heft. This lens is hefty. And yeah, the focal range, it's big. Like 75 millimeters is uncanny. This lens I'm currently filming on currently goes up to 55 millimeters and goes as wide as 18. The kit lens. Whereas this lens, it's a big boy. 75 millimeters, 100 millimeters, 135, 200, and 300. Those are the increments this thing goes up to. And wow, yeah, that is pretty incredible. Like, I've done some nature photography with this thing. I've done some videography with this thing. And of course, this thing has manual focus and it has autofocus. This thing isn't great for vi handheld video if you're just going handheld straight off the camera using it. However, if you put this thing on a tripod and you really dial it in there, you get all your camera right, you get the focus just right on this thing because autofocus is really fast on this thing. Not as fast as an L series lens, which is pretty incredible. However, this thing will do the job pretty nice. Of course, it comes with a really large aperture, which you can probably see there. Yeah, that is a pretty large aperture when fully extended. However, that aperture isn't constant. It's a 58 millimeter lens, so all your ND filters that you have for your current lenses, if you're coming off an 18 to 55 standard lens, or most Canon lenses, they should work on this. It's pretty pocketable, you can chuck it in a camera bag, you can stick this thing in your pocket actually. You can put this thing on your camera, it's not too hefty, but of course, depending on your camera rig, this will get heavy very, very quickly. Another thing I really like about this camera lens is the grippiness. Like, you know the focus ring is the ring that has the dial there. Of course, it has capabilities to work with a follow focus because the gears can easily fit in enough with that. However, your mileage might vary. You might need to get an extra ring to put around this thing to enable the gears. The zoom ring, very easy to use as well. It has these grooves on it, so it's easy to work. The lens quality, how it is going for 100 euros in some places, up to 150, 200 euros. So obviously, quality isn't the best. This is one of their lower range, lower end telephone lenses, but for the price, you really can't buy it. Some people say it's cheaply built. I don't think so. Like made of plastic and aluminum, and it's made of rubber. Most lenses are made of this material. It's not gonna be any cinema lens, it's not gonna be any cine lens, there's no extremely low apertures. However, it gets the job done. For anyone who just wants a telephone lens, for someone who just needs something to work, to be great, get this. However, if you want image stabilization, which this does not have, you'll need to get an L series lens. Something I will say as well about this, if you're using a matte box or anything like that, the lens does extend, it doesn't extend within the lens, it extends outside the lens and that's one way they cut down on costs. So if you're planning to use a matte box or anything like that, beware this will extend outwards, it does not extend within the lens and when you go to focus it does actually extend a bit more. So just be weary about that factor. This lens goes onto the camera with an EF mount, similar to most Canon glass. And of course, it is the metal contacts on the EF mount to allow for the autofocus capabilities and so on and so forth. This lens is a pricey lens. It's 100 euros, so about the same price as a, a normal lens. So honestly, if you're looking for a lovely lens to add to your kit, something that will enable you to do more for the money, so maybe you're not getting the 55 mil, maybe that's not enough for you, or maybe you're building a kit from scratch and you didn't get an 18 to 55, but you want a really nice telephone lens, you don't want to break the bank, because Sigma, Tamron, all those, even they will break the bank. Get this one, great buy for anyone who's just looking for a telephone lens that won't break the bank. And with that, I'm Connor. 
thanks for watching Tekos Productions. If you liked the video, give it a like, subscribe, because it really helps out the channel. Maybe check out the other YouTube channels in the network, and I'll catch you next time.